Door two. Wow! Without a doubt. Come door on! Two. Huh? You're, you can't... What? It's time to play everyone's favorite follow the money game. Live from the VEASAN studios. Hey guys, you ready to let the dogs out? This is door number one. New high score! What does high score mean? New high score, is that bad? What does that mean? Should I break it? Or door number two. You get nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! Here's Mitch Moss and Polly Howard. Here we go. Polly Howard, Matt Humans, Mitch out sick like the rest of the country. Humans holding it down. All right, this is going to be a big talking point until the draft is over. Door one, the Bears take Caleb Williams and Adunze. I'll even throw neighbors on that list. The ever, Whatever the top wide receiver is that's still available there, right? And some, I see some experts have actually neighbors, uh, could have neighbors right there with Marvin Harrison. But I'll put Adunze there. Or door two, they trade down, take Mayor Daniels slash keep fields. What would you do? Just a serious question. To some people, yeah. Uh, it's a tough call, some people think. I don't think it's a tough call at all. Door two. Wow. Without a doubt. Come door on. Two. Huh? You are you can't. What? I thought for sure you'd say door one when you no. set it up that way. No. What? I think it's fairly obvious what you, what you need to do if uh, you're running the Chicago franchise like Ryan Poles. I know a lot of people think Caleb Williams is going to be the next uh, Patrick Mahomes. And so he makes some plays. He plays with uh-huh. that same type of Mahomes flair at, at times. But he's 6'1". After watching every USC game last season, I got a lot of these games recorded. I went back and watched them. And there's a lot not to like, especially in the USC Notre Dame tape when you look at that. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go back and break down every game that Jaden Daniels played for LSU last year, good luck finding some some bad tape on Jaden Daniels. You're not going to find much. You talk about a quarterback who's been well-schooled under Brian Kelly at LSU. And uh, completed 72.2% of his passes last season. 40 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. He also ran for 1,100 yards. So he, com- he totaled 50 touchdowns with 4 picks. Why is Jaden Daniels not getting more consideration to be the top quarterback in this draft? He's, he's the number one quarterback. on. If I had a big board, Paul, let's say I'll make my own board. Jaden Daniels is my number one quarterback. So... What you do here, if the, if you're the Bears and you play your cards right, the Washington Commanders would give up a lot to get mm-hmm. that number one pick and get Caleb Williams, who grew up in the D.C. area, is going to be the face of the franchise. They're trying to hit the reset button, right? And they want to start over, and that's the ideal face of the franchise, Caleb Williams, for the Commanders. Bears can trade down to the number two spot, get a quarterback who I think is going to be a better NFL player in Jaden Daniels, and all those assets that you're going to get in a trade with Washington. And you trade Fields and get a pick. And you're trading Fields and you're going to get, you're probably going to move up. If you trade Fields to the Falcons, you move up a spot in the first round, you probably also pick up a second rounder. I think that's mm-hmm. what the deal would probably be. So if you trade Fields and you trade that number one pick to move down to number two, look at all the assets Bears are going to comp- <laughs> compile. And they're going to camp- come away with Jaden Daniels as their quarterback. I think this is easy an easy decision uh, for the Bears. Wow. All right. Now, I'd like to be in on the workouts and all the interviews uh-huh. because then you can get all the information and you have a little bit more of an insider's perspective. But everything I'm able to, all the judgments I'm able to make by watching these two guys, that's what I would do. In his retirement column, Peter King wrote, he thinks the Bears will trade the pick. And we'll reach out to another Chicago guy in an hour. Get his thoughts on what Chicago does. I don't know if you recall, I was on the show with you and Mitch, I want to say about six or seven weeks ago, and I said, watch out for Jaden Daniels. He's going to rise up, you and did. he's going to be one of the top two or three picks in the draft. Yeah. And uh, I would be stunned. I mean, I'm reading right now that the Raiders are trying to trade up to number three because they want Jaden Daniels. I don't think he's going to be there at three. Door number one, the Patriots take Marvin Harrison at number three. Or door two. They draft Daniels or May, who's ever there, and they take a veteran wide receiver and go about it that way, uh, whether it's a, a free agency, and they, they don't do the – they're supposed – the rumor is they take Harrison at three and then go veteran quarterback to, and, and don't do anything in the draft. What would you do, door one, door two, if you're the Patriots? Is there a door three? What's door three? Trade pick, move down. Yeah, that's okay. I'll give you that one. I would consider that as well. Because you need so many needs. Yeah, you got a lot of sure. needs. And if uh, you're Matt sitting, Jones is gone, though, right? 
Yeah, Mac Jones. I, I think his, 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 his time is done. Actually, you know what Mac Jones needs? Where he needs to go next? San Francisco. Because Kyle Shanahan liked him. That's who he wanted to draft. He changed his mind. Made the big mistake in that draft. And uh, actually, I think Mac Jones would probably be a you know decent backup quarterback for the 49ers under Shanahan's development. I, I, I would say Marvin Harrison at number three, pretty good option, even though I really hate taking a wide receiver that high, especially in a quarterback stack draft like this where you can trade down and get another wide receiver if that's what you want or a different position. I, I, I probably would not take Drake May this high. Um, I wouldn't either. And I, I think I would probably go door three and I would trade down if I was the Patriots because I don't think yeah. Jaden Daniels is going to be there at number three. But if he was, Paul, then I would stay at number three and take Daniels. All right. Okay. And it's line season. And you know, two, a, week and a week ago, it was the Patriots are trading down uh, or they're going wide receiver at three. And now it's they're going to take a quarterback at three, depending on who you read and, and what's going on with the rumors. Door one, championship week in Vegas. It's not busy. The prices are the same. It's a lot cheaper. More games. And there's a lot more games. It's not even close. Or door two, the NC2A tournament in Vegas. And everyone comes out for that, and prices are through the roof. You only pick one. I mean, look how many games are on the board. I'm going to go to next Friday. I'm going to go to door two. I know. I love championship week. First of all, there are games early in the morning to late at night, and there's a ton Nine of games, night, yeah. a lot more games. Uh, yes. And as a better, somebody who loves to bet college basketball, I love week one. But you got to think, think about the drama and everything, the finality of the tournament and those first four days, especially the first two days, Thursday and Friday in Vegas. Those are my favorite two days of the year. Blows away the Super Bowl, right? I think the first two days of the tournament blow away the Super Bowl. Yeah. But championship week, as you and I know, probably underrated by a lot of people. Well, we're going to be out here at Stadium Swim on that championship week Saturday. Yeah. That's going to be a great day. Weather's getting nice. Think about that that week starting Saturday, Sunday, Selection Sunday, all the way through the first week of the tournament. Great time to be here at Circa. Well, here's what I was going to say, though, also. If you love basketball, there are five conference tournaments out here. So that, that Saturday, the 16th, four teams are punching their ticket that day, night, and making the tournament, and how it's spaced out. Now, there's construction everywhere, but you could go to all those (laughs) games. Three of the games are a five-minute drive away from each other. And if you space it out, because I think the Mountain West game's at three, then the Pac-12 games later that night, five, six, and then two hours later is the wickety-wickety-whack. And then I think you could get the Big West in there, too. I like to bounce around a little bit and uh, hit hit a few tournaments. But, you know, at the same time, Paul, there's so many games going on. You know, you got the Mountain West, Pac-12, Big West, West Coast Conference. You want to bounce around to see a few of those games live. But you don't want to miss too many games. And you can sit here in the Circus Sportsbook and watch everything. So, all right, let's get to a really good question. They got the pictures as well. While we, I was on vacation, we did this at Barry's. Door one, Barry's Oreo ice cream pie uh, slash cake, or door two, Portillo's chocolate cake shake. They'll take the piece of cake, which is awesome, and they'll dip it right in the shake and drop it in in front of you at Portillo's. This is a tough call. What are you going with? Well, that last question was a tough call. This is even tougher. That sucker came out at, at championship dinner. week or yeah. NCAA tournament. Man, that's a tough question. This is a really tough one. How big was that Barry's Oreo ice cream pie? Well, you ate most of it <laughs> yes, when I we did. were down there. Yeah. Huh? Yes, I, had, I saved room. I love it. I couldn't believe it. I'm, I'm like, going to go number on one. Menu? Barry's oh, going to be Barry's going to be upset if I don't go with number one. I'm going to say this is uh, right now in college basketball. This is like UConn and Purdue or Houston. I mean, it's very. Razor thin separation between the two. We can't go both door one and two. You only take one. If you go to Barry's, you have to try the Oreo ice cream cake. That thing was incredible. My God, there it is. Door one, door two. Good question. You surprised me nice right job. off the bat. 